I am involved in GSAs because I do not want anyone to go through what myself and others went through in, in high school. You know, the whole taunting and bullying and I was even spit on. I started my first GSA, I think in 2001, and back then they were called uh, Gay Straight Alliance, and now they refer to as Gender and Sexuality Alliances. It's a way for young people of, of all identities, uh, whether they be LGBTQ or allied individuals, to me, it's considered to be a safe space. It's like any other club, except these people happen to be, attend a club that's called GSA. They're um, student driven. Sometimes you may walk in the room and see kids doing homework. They like puzzles, who knew? It may be just a social aspect, and some days it may be organized into something that's a little bit more structured. I had decided I was gonna come out to family um, at 31, and um, I had made a list of reasons to come out and reasons not to come out, and why it was important and I had decided I was gonna be truthful and I was gonna live my truth. I had decided that if I didn't come out, I was gonna come home and, and unlife myself, which is a fancy word for, we can figure what that means. I would no longer be on this planet. very lucky to be working in a district where I work. But there are other areas of my state that don't have that luxury. And imagine on what their kids are missing out on uh, as far as safe spaces. I think what I gained by coming out, what kids gain by GSAs, whether they be LGBTQ plus or allied, is they gain respect for themselves. It's just really teachers like myself and other advisors who really want to, to take kids who are marginalized, regardless of why they're marginalized, and tell them, you know what, you're okay. Because I, I turned out okay. <laughs>